It's Dr. Lori in Lemoyne, Pennsylvania, outside of Harrisburg, the state capital. Thrift with me. It's real bargains on the road. Oh, I love blue. I used to love blue glass things like this. When my mother would bake in something like this, I'd be so happy. I don't know why. I just like the fact that she was baking something in a color. <laughs> you know? So I usually always thought that was really cool. So uh, that's nice. Usually my mother had brown, though. I don't know, she didn't have blue and cool colors like that, but I like that. I like that a lot. And actually, I think my mom had a pair of those, too. <laughs> those look kind of quasi-Connecticut of the 70s, yeah. <laughs> um, what else have we got? Well, that's nice, little French press. Yeah, people, you know, I would think people like those. Not no vintage quality value, but people like those. And the reamers are nice. They're, 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 they usually go, they go pretty high, even the, even the ones that are, um, even the ones that are. And you'll notice where the thumbprint is. So there's two reamers here, right? So you've got the reamers where you do the orange, right? But the finger hole is important where the finger hole is, where the finger hole goes. But this one for six ninety nine is way too high, really expensive. So I'd say no to that one. Um, there's two of them there though. What's hiding in the back? Usually if something's hiding in the back, somebody hit it, right? Somebody's hiding in the back like that. Just pressed glass, vintage, old, real pretty old, you know, like thirties, forties old big. Um, I like it. Uh, press. So, you know, you've got, of course, the buttons, the buttons uh, pattern. That's nice. I like that. So for $4.99, you probably could resell that at $20. Uh, I don't know if I'd pay $4.99. I'd try to get that down too. Okay, but that's nice. Well, maybe I should. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll hold it for a while, see what's what. A lot of vases from the florist, right? <laughs> You sent mom Mother's Day flowers, and here's the florist vases. <laughs> Just cheapo glass kind of thing. Let's see. Oh, these are in the wrong place. They're in the wrong place, but they're good. Eh, they're chipped a little. Look for stuff that's in the wrong place. These are nice. Those I like. You should have a mark. You don't have a mark. They're Scandinavian. They're definitely Danish. They're candle holders, so they stand like this, and then a pillar, a little teak light candle goes in them. They're really nice. They're nicely glazed. They're a nice um, stoneware ceramic. You can see their stoneware, right? You can see the stone element at the bottom. Um, but these are nice mid-century modern pieces. I would say 1950s. They're $2.99 for the pair. Uh, I definitely see these at $70, 70 about $70 for the pair. So those have to go in here. So, you know, look for the stuff that's not in the right place. What else is behind here? I don't care where it is. If it's milk glass, you, everybody wants it. Everybody wants these little bud vases of milk glass for weddings, for, the, you know, the, the uh, bridal shower, blah, blah, blah. They're always a good idea, I think. A lot of people look for them, so that goes in. Oh, uh, $3.99 worth $10. So it's not like a big, you know, oh, I made a big, big killing on it, but it's a nice piece. And then... Oh, well, here's your vintage butter, um, domed butter bowl. And the gilding looks pretty good on this. It's too bad about the tape. The tape is going to create such a problem when you try to get the tape off. It's going to be a big pain in the neck. So that's the problem with that. But that, I would say, is a good piece. This is not. This is not. This is not. This is not. Let's look at this. Uh, OK. That's trying to look good, but it's not. OK. <laughs> And what's wrong with it? The base is nice, the cased glass, but when you get to the top, this had a collar. So this had a collar at one point of metal. And you know, basically it's a look, but I would not I would not put three dollars on that. I'd leave that there. Um, that piece is better. That piece is better, uh, but it's a little damaged on the inside. So you've got to look for damage. Three dollars for this piece, I would probably say no. Um, People like the color, however. This piece, pretty traditional, $6.99, way too high. Probably they go for about $20. Um, and again, you take the tape off, you're going to take some of this iridescence out. Um, and it, of course, is for your lipstick here. It's from the 1940s, 50s, and then the powder goes in. The um, powder goes in the bottom. This lid comes off, and that's why it's taped to heck, because they're trying to make sure the lid doesn't come off. But 
Yeah, that's what you're looking at there. And then, well, Avon, you recognize it. And uh, that's pretty nice. These show up a lot, but not, um, they're very collectible, but this one is not full. So when they're full, they're worth a little bit more money. So this one, I would say maybe 10 bucks. You're gonna invest four to get 10? Probably not. <laughs> So there's that. Let me see. There's more milk glass here. That piece is that piece is a little bit better. And here's the other mate. See, you gotta look. You really gotta look because the stuff is like all over. And there, see, by me having to bend over like that and look here, see that green and red? See that green and yellow glass right down there, that footed bowl? That's next. What's it doing over here with all of the uh, glass that's clear? Yeah, that's a nice footed piece. The feet are nice and sharp still. That's nice. It's got nice intricate designs. It's nice two-tone color. It even has a scalloped edge. $6.99. You're definitely getting 40 out of this. That's a nice piece. I like that. I like that. That's good. American. And of course, in that What's going to revive? What's going to revive? Which is, of course, is that brilliant cut glass. Now, the, cr the American Brilliant Cut stuff is usually clear, but the colors will follow. And right? after they do the clear, then the colors are going to follow. This is a nice piece, too. Let's see if we can find some china. Oh, hey, looks like Balik, huh? Well, I know it's not Balik. Do you know it's not Balik? It's not Balik. That's a nice piece. I bet there are more of these. Um, Shelley, Ainsley. Uh, Royal Dalton, you know, the, the big names in English. Uh, Royal Worcester, let's see. I know you're going, oh, no one wants teacups. <laughs> I see a lot of people buy a lot of teacups. Oh, I love fish. There's a little mermaid tail. That's cute. Yep, here we go. And there's another one, English. Nice to have an expert around who knows what they're, lo what they're looking at. <laughs> so $9.99 high that's high that's like what you're gonna probably get you probably could get twelve dollars um, for this one and then this one's nine ninety nine you probably could get about twelve dollars for this one however what if that's what you're gonna put them um, into maybe your yard sale something like that but online you definitely can get 20 bucks for this set and 20 bucks for that set so you can't pay 10 <laughs> it's just that simple it could, but you're only going to pay half price. So, you know, the details are going to be important. The marks are very important. So, of course, you're looking for Made in England and many of those names that I mentioned. And I mentioned them in other videos, too. Um, basically, also, you're looking for the colors. I mean, some people look for just the yellow uh, flowers, or maybe they like the gilt details, more the delicacy pieces. So there's your English pieces, boom, right here. And, you know, here's a nice piece of Japanese, uh, I mean, sitting right here alone. Gilded Ages. You can notice, of course, the bright white porcelain. Probably Mito when we when we turn it over. Uh, two ninety nine for this, which is called a bouillon cup. Two handles. It's for soup. It's for bouillon. You know, two handles and you drink it like that. But nice bright white clay, and Mito made in Japan. And uh, this is just gorgeous inside. Look at the hand decorated work. That's really nice. And the gilding is not all gone. You know, when the gilding starts to go, then a lot of people don't tend to like those as much. But these are nice. Um, these are definitely keepers. Where is that cart? I was supposed to have another cart. <laughs> well, I? All right, don't have another cart. Do you remember the wooden clothespins? My mother had buckets of these buckets. We were always we were going to move the clothespin bucket. Do you remember these? <laughs> well, these are not as good as the ones we had, but yeah, they're wood. That's good. <laughs> and in the furniture section, and lo and behold, a Victorian side chair. Here's the crest rail. The crest rail has nice carving. It usually has something that has to do with plenty or prosperity, like grapes or fruits or leaves. And then you can see, of course, the back. The back is nice petty point. I don't like the dog hair. I love the dogs, but not the dog hair. And basically, so it can be cleaned. It's really nicely done. $14.99. It's fantastic in terms of the price. And then, of course, it is a birthing chair, these low sort of stability arms. Uh, this is really very nice. This piece all this piece is really a nice piece and this piece is pretty sturdy so it doesn't seem like it's been glued together you know they glue a lot of these chairs together often but this piece is really nice and time period early 20th century solid hardwoods petty point on the back and the seat that's what you're looking for value on it 200 bucks 
This rocking chair is the deal of deals. Um, it's a Nichols and Smith rocking chair. It dates from the 1960s. A couple of things that I always do, take these off. Take these off so you can really see the seat of the chair. You want to see what that maple looks like, what the wood looks like. It looks like it's in good shape. It looks like it be, can be cleaned over here a little bit, but at this price, where is the price? Oh, it's up here, I'm sorry. At this price up here, $19.99. That's amazing for this solid hard wood rocking chair, spindle back. You can see the spindles, which are hard to dust. It's a pain in the neck to dust spindles. A little bit, a little bit of um, loss from oils on your hands on the um, on the actual arms. But this is so. This is a beautiful rocking chair. It's a beautiful rocking chair. A woman's rocking chair, and a really nice one. And sitting here at twenty dollars, this is where you got your ten percent. This chair is a two hundred dollar chair. So. You're going to buy it for 20 bucks. That's 10%. You can resell it for 200. That's a real bargain. That's a beautiful example too. Had fun thrifting. My my card is empty. I returned everything to the shelves for you. And I'll see you next time.